Hi everybody, this is M Producer. I'm gonna kind of roll back the end of the video. And um right off the bat, I do wanna say I'm sorry for not uploading the up the second episode for Road to 108 on Sunday. And it's Wednesday now, so I'm very late indeed. That is because my family went on a mini vacation over the weekend. And I did not have any time to make cards. I couldn't make cards Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So I needed, obviously, three days to make up for it. And with school, I didn't, I didn't have time to do activities. Other things, I didn't really have time to make a bunch of cards in one day. So I've just been making two cards um, every Monday. And uh, I made two cards Monday, two cards Tuesday. But I didn't have time to upload Tuesday, so now I'm uploading now. And it's pretty early in the morning, so I can't be on my usual pretty loud self, so apologies for that, but yeah, let's just get right into the second episode for Road to 108. So, there are going to be nine cards, and here's the first one. Earthquake costs five crystals to play, it's common, it's an ability, and it says destroy target habitat or permanent resource. There's no way to destroy permanent resources, so I made one. Pretty simple. Crystal Blade costs 4 crystals to play, it's an uncommon, it's an attachment, and target loss of such creature gains 150 melee attack. And this is actually the counterpart to Long Reach that hasn't been made, because Long Reach was the fourth card I ever made, and this has been like the 83rd-ish, somewhere in there. There are now 90 cards in the set, so hard with this new 9. River of Blood, it's six crystals to play. It's a death in Aqua. It's rare to habitat, as you can see. And the residents of River of Blood gain plus 50 mana attack for every monster slash creature that has been banished on River of Blood. Um, residents gain plus 50 mana attack. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is just his blood. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I cut it off, but it, it sort of looks like, like 100, so I was confused reading that, but no, it's just his, yeah, the residents gain a base 50, and so whenever, like, most of such creature dies in River of Blood, the base 50 goes up by 50, so yeah, pretty cool card. Here's t Tower of Annihilation, six crystals to play, it's a rare, and it's a permanent resource, and at the end of your turn, Deal 150 damage to anything in play besides tomes, which is very, very good. And another reason why Earthquake is so good because, like, if someone gets a Tower of Annihilation onto the field, and you can't get it off, then that's a lot of damage each turn, and you just can't take it out. So, yeah, here I really like this card, it's called Mutual Agreement. It costs Seven crystals to play. It's rare. It's an attachment, and it says pick one monster such creature on your opponent's field. It's one in yours. These monster such creatures can no longer be attacked while mutual agreement is on the field. Um, this is actually the first card where it features card art from other cards on the art. So there's Bush Sheep and Lesser Owl. Um, I don't know if you count uh, Dark Lance for that, but like Dark Lance is like actually. Midnight Rider and Midnight Stallion, like those are Dark Lance, so, I mean, I feel like this is the first one. The next one is Castle Guardian, um, has 300 HP, 250 range attack, 270 melee attack, it's a rare, costs 6 crystals to play, it is a null type, my third ever null type, I couldn't think of any type that I would, an element that I would make this, um, doesn't, the castle guard isn't really elemental. Also, another humanoid isk um, monster uh, creature. Yeah, it is a creature. And the tome, the castle guard, is written into cannot be attacked. Well, castle guard is in it because that's kind of like the castle in its guard. Here we have Arctic penguin. Costs 300. They're not, not 300. Man, I'm so tired. 230 HP. Uh, 170 range attack, 200 melee attack, costs 
Six cards left to play. It's a black black. It's a rare. It's a monster. If Archie Pang advantage to the monster slash creature, it attacks. Any habitat on this base is destroyed. Which is pretty good. Like, they have a really good habitat. Like, if maybe they have River of Blood on this base and it's stacked all the way up to like maybe plus 200 and you got Archie Pang on the field, and then it's a monster slash creature that it's destroyed. Which is very really good. Yeah, so. Next one is Artificial Sentience. It's 200 H no, 290 HP, 330 range attack, and 230 melee attack. It's an epic. It costs um, 7 crystals to play to energy its creature. And when Artificial Sentience is played, all attachments on the field are attached to it, which is very good. Because if, if they have like a ton of really good attachments, like trying to study long range crystal blade back in the earlier in this video and just play artificial sentience and that will remove all those attachments from those monster slash creatures and put it onto it which is very very good the last card is greater owl and now lesser owl has been in the game for a long time but there's never been a greater counterpart to lesser owl i was debating whether to make greater owl upgrade from lesser owl I think, I didn't put it on there, but I think when I put it on mine, definitely, Starter Owl will upgrade from Lesser Owl. And, um, also, like, I haven't done a rules video, but I will do one once I finish the set, because a lot of rules have changed, because I've been playing more and more games with, like, friends and stuff, and I've seen, like, things that need to be changed, need to be balanced. One thing that's going to be changed is that you can play a monster slash creature from from the second upgrade and upgrade chain, but uh, you have to pay the crystals. But if you play the first one and you upgrade it, then you don't have to pay those extra crystals. So, yeah. So, very well. That's 220 HP, 190 HP, and 260 melee attack. It's an epic, and it has six crystals to play. It's arrow, it's creature, and greater owl gains plus 50 to all values for each time you control. And if I would have just said all stats, it would just have been range attack, melee attack, but values is range, range attack, melee attack, and HP. Um, yeah, because a lot of cards that say stats would be way too good if it added to HP. And that's why it's just an epic, because it adds to all values. So, like, if you still have your beginning four tomes, that's plus 200 to everything, which is very, very good. And if you have your max six, that's plus 500. I think. Wait, can I do math? Yeah, no, it's plus 300. Plus 300. Yeah, I, I can math. Well. So, yeah, those are all the cards. And uh, once again, I'm going to I just say, I'm gonna say sorry for being a bit quiet because um, it's pretty early in the morning. And uh, yeah, so I have to be sort of quiet. I'm sort of tired, tired myself. So, I don't really have a ton of energy to be loud. But yeah, those are the nine new cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, what? Oh, nine. There's our official sentience. There we go. Uh, so yeah, tell me in the comments below which one's your favorite, and tell me if you're excited for the next episode of Front to One Elite. Um, hopefully that will be on the next Sunday, and there won't be anything interfering with it. But yeah, I'll see you all guys. I'll see you guys all later. See ya.